working on the library book. All the live long day. All 2,270 listed here. Tom is uh, working on getting the shelves all organized. <laughs> and We're moving them around. We'll get there. They look disorganized, but actually this whole array right here, this oh, is a lot of work that Tom's gorgeous. done in pretty much one day. There's one in her box for it. Boxes. <laughs> yeah, the virtual oh, wow. flea market is going to be a mess. Yeah. I'll just go in there and just, say maybe you should just swing by. I guess we're crowded. We've got the hot games area over there, which is where everybody is going to be excited to be. And look at all that game playing space. Wow. Hi, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> These are all the boxes crates and stuff that we're going to be palletizing and loading up. I'm uh, tripping over myself. Z is hiding behind uh, things, sneaking up on people. Basically, yeah. Tom, what do you want us to do? Blog! Never stop blogging! We could have danced all night. We could have danced. Oh, we're taking him. Right. Yeah, we're taking him. Jump like Mario. <laughs> we're getting close to the end of our drive here up to Orlando. Woo. And the air conditioning has been working for the last three hours. We just pulled up to the Carib. Say it's too hot. <laughs> that gentleman right there. We unloaded is him. Is Anty. He's got ants in his pants and he needs to dance. You know, no, 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 no. <laughs> he needs to dance, I said. Fine. You can dance if you want to. Oh, it's awful. Yeah. Never mind, folks. Pull a Chris Yee. I'm going to film. Oh, here we go. Here we have dueling. This is Inception. Vlogs. That's my Christopher Don't Nolan shot the right there. Don't oh. Stick to the oh, no, no. Mind, no. Oh. <laughs> and everyone is sick. Right, everyone is sick. <laughs> the trucks arrived. We got some pallets going on. Looks like one of those bins got crunched, but Mike is blocking it to hide the fact that it is like wrecked. Woo! Oh, man. Okay. Yeah, looks pretty bad there. This is our library in this truck. It's lovely. It's looking good. That's gonna make life so much better. Yes, look at it. Nothing went wrong that we can have video footage of. Of course not. Nothing went wrong. What happened to that? Hey Roy, how heavy is that? It's pretty heavy. Oh, look at that. Oh, oh my gosh. Look at, this man. Oh, look at that ninja right there. Man. You're super happy about this, Tom, right? Ah, this thing cost like 40 bucks. Woo! Oh. Well, at least the stuff on the inside's okay. Oh my, God. oh my word. Oh my. We're done finally unloading everything. Let's go check out inside. That waterfall looks so fancy. Oh, swanky is the word. Swanky, swanky. Swanky fancy. No. We're ready to go. No. Oh, it's so nice in here. But my legs hate the stairs. But it's very beautiful. So two days before the convention starts, Monday, there's already people here pre-conning. Uh, look who we found over here. Well, that's Jason. But look who we found over here. It's BJ from Morgan Gumbo. My wife, Linda. What's up? You're enjoying the con? You're loving it. Con hasn't started yet. It starts on Sunday. Come on. The pre-con day negative three starts Sunday. <laughs> We've been playing games every day. Tuesday morning, and we are setting up the Dice Tower Library. Let's take a quick gander. We've got our racks all oriented the way we'd like them. We like to think that this is the best board gaming library in the biz. You can see there's plenty of space, which is great. I don't think even with a full uh, complement of gamers in here, I don't think that we're gonna run out of room. Setup is going really well. We've had a lot of volunteers helping out. All these great people, great volunteers like this sir over here. Can, can you introduce yourself, sir? My name is uh, Chris Yee. And we also, of course, have our smaller games, card games, set up in these really nice containers to make them easier to access. Thanks for volunteering. Yeah, I just showed up. The kinds of jobs you don't think about. And you don't want. <laughs> and you don't want to think about. All right, the uh, hand pumping of the dice was not gonna cut it. So Z had to come with the power equipment. Look at this. 
all of the hot games so that they're gonna be set up and ready to go when you wanna come out and check them out. I ran into Ignacio and look at this. He's now a Florida Gators fan. I, you, you, you've become a true Floridian here, haven't you? I, I was forced to do that, but I'm very happy being now true Floridian, so yeah. And I already have a cookies. I'll give you this if you give me this. Come on. Okay, everybody, it is day one. I'm walking in, it is just shy of 6 a.m. This will be the last time in five days that you'll see it this quiet. I'm the only person in the building except maybe the cleaning staff and Manny over there who's still waiting for someone to play Monopoly with him. Here we are at registration. Gamers can get their badges over there. Exhibitors right there. If you want to meet Roy Canada, you can meet Roy Canada right there. A nice spot for pictures with that gorgeous background uh, for pictures. For pic for pictures. There we go. You can get a nice untainted. Oh come on! It's the beginning of the convention. We've got the library full of people looking for games. Lots of games have gotten checked out. We have wonderful volunteers. Everything is going well. You can even do so with Eric Summerer, if you're brave enough. <laughs> I'm in the vendor hall here as we're setting up. As you can see, some of the booths are still going up. It's uh, a nice vendor area. We have a lot of good companies. It's kind of interesting seeing as things are being unpacked. It's a different, it's a different vibe. Hour one of Dice Tower East 2020, and we're in the hot games area, and uh, things are already looking pretty well, pretty full here. This is a four-player Arc Nova, a three-player Arc Nova set up here. Matthew here, who is helping to teach transmissions. Star Wars villain is actually here. We got Dead Reckoning, Wonderland's War, Planet Unknown, Wild Serengeti over here. Oh, such table presence. We've got Rainer from Board and Dice Games over here teaching one of their new games, Terracotta Army. The other rooms are still more empty. The outside smaller rooms, but lots of people playing games. It's making me very, very, very happy. The exhibitor hall is opening up. This is the big moment. We just opened up the vendor's booth and you can see everyone has their copies ready to go. Yes. Yay. I like how I don't have to do anything. Oh no, I have to go that way over there. Yes. Board, you're going down. Really exciting. Tons of fun people gaming. Great volunteers. We're having a great time. I came into the back room here to get everything ready for wits and wagers. And what is this? Why hasn't anyone told me that we have Dice Tower cookies? This is a betrayal. Hey, everybody. We're blogging here live at Wits and Wagers. We have one team known as You Gotta Be Kidding Me, spelled E W E. I bet that's the Sheep team over there. <laughs> I can see where this is going. Did I get a point for that or not? I, I don't know. I, I would give them a point for that. Okay, so no point. <laughs> All right, at two to one odds. I can't read this. All right, well, this is you guys. <laughs> What's your name? Uh, Brett Hunter. Brett Hunter. Can you can you read this team name for me, please? Sure. Uh, I believe it says. Amanda, I have loved you for almost eight years, and I would like to continue loving you forever. And that's why you come to the Dice Tower Con. chips did you have? We have two. two. Two chips. We won 47 chips. 47 oh chips. God. Zero. Oh. They doubled their score with another zero. <laughs> Frogs have 255 oh. chips. Okay, it is day two here. It is 7.30 in the morning. When I came in this morning at 
5.45 a.m. There was three people in here who beat me playing games already. Tom is up to his usual nonsense. Playing with athletes that are magical. Plenty of players wanted signs and no one seems to be taking Manny up on it. It is approximately 11 a.m. and so you can see that we already have a pretty nice turnout here. Merchant of the Dark Road on the table. This is a beautiful looking game. Nice table presence. Hopefully these lovely people don't mind me. Not at all. Speaking of pretty games, we've got Foundations of Rome. Talk about table presence. Yeah, My goodness. Whoa. Nemesis locked down. And uh, boy, it's just table presence after table presence here. Let's end this little clip with my favorite game of all time. We're going to do a little dramatic sweep. Oh, dwellings of Elderberry. <laughs> And then there was the Amazon, uh, the famous, famous Amazon that uh, I didn't know how to pronounce Amazon com. <laughs> when I tried to explain who watch TV show, I'm watching on Disney Plus, and I said hokey. What did you roll? A five? Oh no, I'm probably gonna fall trapped to something. Setting up for the Tom Basil flea market. So with all of this here, we're just a bit over halfway through the boxes. Halfway. Got between two and three thousand games that we're going through and trying to price. Gonna be a madhouse. So we're pricing the items for sale here with different colored stickers, and as you can tell, uh, cool. I, I got it on camera, Camilla. I got it on camera. You're destroying inventory. So here we are before the flea market opens. We've set many games out, and by many, I mean. Many games out. Soleil de Vlog, how are you doing today? Yeah, I'm doing well. Yeah? You kind excited of. for the flea market? Yeah. You're gonna, you're Do you gonna... see the excitement? Oh, I can <laughs> see the excitement. It's hidden behind your tiredness. What time are you up in the morning? Uh, today, 7.30. 7.30, and you went to bed when? I don't know, are there, are there any? Uh, 1.30. Very exciting, great energy in the air. Eric Summer is psyched to be here. Energy in the air! See what I mean? Oh. First people. <laughs> I'm uh, scared. Hold the gates. It's not Black Friday. Two people pulling on the same game. Yeah. There's not one single person going, I'm not running. I'm not running. <laughs> Sale is a go. Hunter, come on, get out of the shot. The sale is going great here so far. Uh, I'm handling cash and no one's paying cash because, you know, it's 2022. We're in the home stretch here. Literally. Haha, <laughs> except we're not at home. We're in the stretch here where uh, Tom just said, Pay what you want. Pay what you want. We're trying to get rid of all that little bit, a little bit of inventory left. See that minor, small amount of uh, games that are left? We are done with the flea market, except for that table there. Happy customers. Happy customers. I just had a conversation with some folks that said they had been mostly playing games they knew. The next few days were all about discovery. New games they had not played yet. And of course, as you can see, lots of folks doing very similar things. We see some yellow flags up in the distance there for teachers wanted, green flags for players wanted. This is your guys' learning game, how to go. Oh my God, phenomenal dude. Best teacher, and I'm gonna tell you something, this is a fantastic game. So here's one of the hallways off the main hallway here that has extra gaming rooms around, but this, this is the Portal Games Room, since they're the premier sponsor here. They're showing off a couple of their, their new games. This is a really nice, easy chance to actually come hang out and meet Ignacy right here. There's demos and teachers and everything. So the copy of Brazil Imperium just arrived here on Friday, and the whole Portal staff is going to be learning it so they can teach me and teach me this later, because I'm very interested in this one. Feeling great. Everything seems to be going good. It is 6 in the morning. There's a couple people in line for the flea market. There's two people here playing Crokinole who need to go to bed. There's two people in the back corner playing Alchemy, Alchemist, who need to go to bed. And then there's a few people who just got up. And then there's Manny who is looking for someone to play nothing personal. I see you. This has Chris Yee's fingers written all over it. This line here, you can see, is definitely gonna be for the flea market. Ah, there's Jordan again, ugh. So the flea market line is gonna be wrapping around the corner, all the way down to that hall, down that hall, and then uh, down another hall. 
I think there's some excitement to pick up some games. Here on the flea market, people making deals, wheeling and dealing and reeling and, and I was going to say stealing, but hopefully not. Uh, this is the flea market. This is the non-Tom Vassal flea market. Everybody brought these ones themselves and hopefully people are uh, making good deals. More than an hour into the flea market now and still a veritable hive of activity. Welcome to the World Championship Pitch Car 2022. Here's the track going down a long straightaway. You might wonder what the white, white powder is to make you faster. Then you get a split. You can go through the jump of doom or down the straight and path full of holes and deception. Round these corners, up these curves, through a loop. Down around here, over the jump. Of course, you can skip the loop if you're smart. And then boom, down this straightaway, up over the hill of old age. Boom, around the corner to the finish line. This is our Whoever is kids' version of Pitch Car, and Tom is getting the, the kids ready to play. So, so when it's your turn. volunteers who's taking on the checkout process how's it going good it's going yeah are you feeling overwhelmed by games um at the moment a little but we'll get it taken care of in a little bit what's the best part about volunteering <gasps> that i get to see all the games and Ooh. hear people talk about them when they bring them back and make a mental list of ones i want to try so because there's so many games here and there's some i've never even heard of never even seen and it's it's pretty neat we found a wild graham anderson boon licking it up so I found Seven Wonders Architects. Look at this giant copy of the game. I love this, and I think this is what conventions are all about, is things like this. So they point that you get that resource, but this is when you build on this tile, you get a little. Okay. And this counts as any, you can build anything on there. Yes. Just played a little Marvel Champions with these two characters. This character, this character right here, but really this character right here. Yeah, baby, always be running. Look at that number. I can't even count that high. You launch your equipment into orbit, then take it out of orbit, and then go around the different rings of the universe, exploring planets and systems for different chemical compositions to build factories and. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a Phil Eklund game based on real science, and it is really hard. I can't even count that high. I well, don't know that I fully regret that. You should not regret that. We're playing Viking Seesaw here at Dice Tower Why? East 20. Oh, there we oh, go. Oh, that's amazing. <laughs> Eric has three seconds to do Paper, Scissors, Rock four times. So we're going to see if this happens. Paper, Scissors, Rock, Paper, no, Paper, Scissors, Rock, Paper, Paper. <laughs> Paper, scissors, rock, paper, scissors, rock, pa paper, paper, ah! We're gonna be gathering up all these library games in just a little bit, but for now, people are still enjoying them, including, hey, look at that, Blast Aurora, a fantastic game. We are, for uh, our end, trying to get as much of a head start on library shutdown as we can. That's going to entail a number of different things. Any shelf that has the numbers pulled down means all the games are back. Uh, we are boxing up the top few shelves of each, setting them into boxes. We're going to pallet these up. The rest of these are going to wheel off and hopefully cause fewer broken wheels. That's the dream. We're living it. Vendors are packing up. Most of the walls have been taken down. It looks a lot different than it did when everything was off. Look at these wonderful volunteers. We just have so many people willing to help out. People that have already done their shifts. People that are just done playing games and want to help. It's wonderful stuff. Roy, our super shrink wrapper here. Roy is doing our shrink wrapping and he's Ooh. doing an excellent job. And this is cleanup time now. It's a wrap. In the last of the pallets packed up out of here. And that is almost a wrap. Look at that. That library looks so small now. My favorite part of Dice Tower East was all the volunteers. I volunteered and met so many great people that also volunteered. And coming to a convention by myself, it was great to meet other people who were like-minded and had a similar interest. And then we got to know each other and then hang out and play games when we were done volunteering. And it was just the most awesome community of people I've ever met. Getting to play all the different types of games from the, very, the big 
catalog of games in the library. People showing me how to play games I've never experienced before. Explain all the brand new games. There's so many we hadn't tried yet. I just really had a great time. Yeah, that's all we've been doing this whole convention. So it's been really great. The hot games area. I mean, all those awesome games just set up, ready to go. That's the best thing. Just sit down, start playing. Star Wars Villainous was a lot of fun. And Planet Unknown. Meeting everybody, meeting the crew, which is always nice and lovely because they're so warm and friendly. I mean, meeting different gamers from all over. For me, it's about the community. I mean, there's so many people that I've only interacted with online, and I come here and it's like we're fast friends. It's definitely the exhibitor hall. Um, the, getting people to demo a game for you in five, ten minutes, and being able to immediately buy it if you really want to. Constantly playing games all day and all night. I think my favorite part was the great library, even better people, and most of all, that handsome guy behind the camera, Mr. Chrissy Abram. Just getting to sit down and play games with people who are fully willing to teach you the entire game. Our favorite part is meeting people from all around the world, really. You hear about these games and you finally get to like play them and try them out without actually buying them, but then you end up buying some of them anyways. There's people I see here, pretty much this is the only place I see them, so I like seeing them every year. People are like, hey, play a game with me. I do. I really love volunteering, especially the library late at night. I made a lot of friends and it was really fun. Just meeting and playing with so many nice people. You just put a flag up, they'll come join your game or come teach you a game and uh, instant friend. It was a great opportunity to get to come out and meet some new people. Registration was like, where are the lines? That was wonderful. I'll be back. I'm going to die star regular. Uh, playing downforce with my friends. Good stuff. Mario Kart edition, of course. Volunteering was great. I feel like I was actually a part of the con instead of just playing, so it was really fun. I would suggest it. I was a flag finder at the uh, con. All the green flags players wanted walking around. Every table I sat at, I uh, had a great time, met some great people, had a lot of fun. I'm not ready to go yet. It's like coming home to see my family again. Looking for a little green flag and wandering around and finding a game that I think I might like. Uh, all the volunteers and, and what an incredible job the Dice Tower staff has done. It's a lot of fun getting to meet new people and also hear about the cool games they're playing. Maybe, um, We'll be in Las Vegas in next year. All the people here, they're so nice. We've been playing games and not know how to play them, and people just come by and teach you. But again, that's just the best thing about all the Dice Tower events is they really are the friendliest conventions on Earth. Well, this is the end of the Dice Tower East blog. These are the only four people still standing. <laughs> Everyone else. Tom, we're actually sitting we're right sitting now. Right Shh. Now. We didn't eat ice cream or anything. Anyhow, it was a great convention. We wish you were there. Although, come next time. That's a long time from now. We're all very tired, and we hope it went well. Hope you enjoyed this vlog. We'll see you next time. You're, I'm Tom Vassie. You've been watching The Dice Tower. And also, we're at Disney World. Not really. <laughs>